Alrighty, back again YouTube. Um, this time I just thought I'd do a little video of uh, all my sign stuff. Um, uh, where to start? Alrighty, to begin with, this is my signed Name of God, Double Driver and Shadow Fall from that tour. I actually went to the Big Top Show at Luna Park and it's actually signed by all of Devil Driver and all of Shadows Fall and uh, it was actually before Miller left the band so yeah that's that's one next up we got um, Corey Taylor, Seven Deadly Sins book I met him in Sydney at the book signing now, Got him to sign my book. Uh, next up, Fear Factory mechanized poster. They did it in store in Sydney and met all of the guys it's Byron Stroud, Burton C. Bell, Gene Hoglund, and Dino. Bear with me. Next up, we got a signed Lamb of God poster by Mark, uh, Mark Morton and John Campbell. That was signed at Billy Hyde's Music. And those two just did a sign in. In Sydney. And next up, got a El Nino and Static X poster that was signed on their tour they did a joint tour Static X and El Nino and uh, El Nino did an in-store appearance actually got two of these signed Static X unfortunately didn't sign it but and that was actually with um, the old members which is uh, him Jardel Signed motor grader poster. This is actually signed by uh, Ivan in Sydney when we went and seen him. Um, I actually got uh, my mate actually got to meet all of the guys, and uh, while well, I went and got bourbons, and, uh, I got back and they were all in the tour bus, and I bashed on the window and pretty much said to Ivan, "He has to sign this poster." He was giving me a look as if to say, no, no, we can't, we don't have time, because they were stopped at a red light in the bus. And then uh, he finally, yeah, he opened the door, signed me poster really quickly, and uh, the bus driver was screaming at him to close the door so they can go. And I had a whole crowd of people standing around cheering for me after I got that signed, so I'm pretty stoked with that one. And I don't think he wanted to sign it only because it was a motor grader poster, and he's got a bit of bad blood with those guys. Um... This is the other Il Nino poster. Unfortunately, this one's got a crack in the frame, in the glass, you can see there. Hasn't really affected the poster or anything because the poster's actually laminated underneath that, but meh. That's the second one. Uh, this one here is um, signed by Mudvayne on the Lost and Found tour. Um, this was actually a poster from Utopia Records, the place they were holding the in-store at. Uh, my brother actually stole it off the wall for me, and he actually got, we actually got it signed. I was very surprised that they actually let him get that signed. But yeah, I've met Mudvayne quite a few times. On the Australian tour. And I'm pretty sure we were at the University of New South Wales, the 24th of the 1st, 2006. Um, righty. The next couple of things are just uh, a few pictures that I take, took. That one's of um, all of Mudvayne at the in-store appearance where I just got that last poster signed. 
and that's actually the poster there on the desk and me shaking his hand. Um, this one was also taken at the Lost and Found tour, uh, the in-store. I actually got Chad to take a photo of himself and this is what he took. Um, this one was from the Il Nino in-store. It was taken on a really shitty quality, quality camera, actually a phone, and um, yeah, it's been blown up. Uh, this one is me and Corey from Slipknot, once again taken on a really shitty quality camera on my phone. I was actually quite pissed about this because I, dumbass me, was that starstruck. I forgot that I had a proper digital camera in my pocket that would have taken a ten times better photo. But anyway, um, this one's of um, myself and Gene from All That Remains, the bass player, and uh, I've seen them a few times and actually met them guys a few times as well. This one, I actually took this picture blown up back to the con to the next concert and uh, actually got Gene to sign it. Um, this one was actually from that same concert. It was the set list from All That Remains. Phil actually gave that to me. And I actually got Phil and Gene to sign the back of it. That's Phil's signature there and obviously Gene's. And I got a pick from Mike, which is laminated in with the poster. Yeah, a bit worse for wear the old set, set list. That's why I eliminated it. <coughs> um, another one. This one's not signed, but it's uh, just another picture of myself and Rob Flynn from Machine Head. I've actually met them guys a couple of times too. Uh, next one, we have the Disturbed Asylum album. I actually met um, John Moyer, the bass player, at um, an install that he did in Newcastle. I actually seen them in at the Sydney show. And the next day I went to the in-store appearance with John Moyer and met him. And they had a little competition running where if you had your name picked out of the draw from the people entering the, uh, that, that went to the sign-in, uh, there was a chance you could have won a ticket to see Disturbed and Trivium again that night in Newcastle and I was lucky enough to actually win one of those tickets and see them twice but um, I actually got the record signed there and I actually have the vinyl signed itself I'm not gonna pull it out pull it out uh, but um, it's actually a limited edition vinyl and it's signed right in the middle there actually yeah screw it I'll pull it out but very gently it's a limited edition press. It's signed by John Moyer. Um, also, inside here we have um, a nothing set list from Sydney. It's signed by all of them. A skinny signature at the bottom. Jeff's, Jeffrey Nothing's there. Uh, that was their bass player, Croker, that they had for that tour. I'm not really sure what happened to that guy, but he was actually a really nice guy. And uh, Dr. Farrell, who is currently now in Mushroom Head. But uh, those guys were fucking incredible. They give me so much stuff. Um, I actually got this drumstick off Skinny, like used at that concert. Mr. Farrell gave me a uh, Mushroom Head guitar pick. I got photos with all of those guys, they signed all of my stuff. I could not have asked for a better night with those guys, they're the most down to earth guys I've ever met. Also, uh, I don't think I've got that one signed.